there is the Asgardian event that's coming up, so you might want to hold off on doing this event. It might not be worth it to do. You might want to just hold off stack resources. Obviously, you're going to need four cold hearts. If you don't have four cold hearts, then you're kind of SOL. You can leave right now unless you just want to chill. That's cool, too. Either way, probably the best team that I can think of for the upcoming spider event is going to be this. If you have these champions, you can make this work. For those of you who don't know, the the upcoming tournament is going to be a spider tournament and you basically have to do this dungeon, but you can only use these champions from the Corrupted Alliance. The Corrupted Alliance are champions that come from the demon spawn. See the Corrupted tab up here. The demon spawn, undead hordes, dark elves, night revenants. Dark Elves is kind of a no-brainer because most people, especially if you've been playing for a hot minute, have Lydia or Ithrala, right? Those are both really good champions. If you have Lydia, decrease defense, weaken, speed up, kind of helps Ghostborn, decrease attack, it can't be resisted, Mithrala, Hex, it kind of makes it a little bit slower, but she has the Hex and she has the increased attack. So those are some pretty good options. Most people are going to probably run something along the lines of Coldheart and Lydia, right? If you don't have either of those champions, or like if you don't have uh, a Lydia, for an example, then you could use what I uh, what I used, which is basically something I got from Sam. Uh, I did a video a long time ago, nine months ago, which was based off of her video, where she brought in Luthea because she had like a fat crit rate aura and then spider and then newt three or four turns or something like that it was insane spider brings an aoe decreased defense and weakened and the animations on spider are actually like really fast i think it might be the fastest so spider for spider that's pretty much all he's gonna bring he also has the increase to the speed in the dungeons by 25 percent so you can build your champions a little bit slower madame Serly is also going to be great for uh, decrease of defense. So she she might like add a little bit of extra time, like a second or two, but she's still a decent champion to bring in. If you want to bring somebody who does weaken, you have this champion right here, Rian the Conjurer from the Doom Tower. You have options. Now, I'm only showing you guys what I think are the best options. I don't know everything. You guys might know more than I do. You might have different options than, than what I'm showing you guys here. If you do, feel free to share it. That's pretty cool if you do. Doom Priest, because Doom Priest brings the increased attack. So if you speed tune, she brings increased attack and that would be pretty pretty nice if you need increased attack because you know increased attack might help. But honestly, I think you can do without it if you just get decreased defense. This move here does enemy max HP damage. The same thing as Cold Heart. I don't know if he hits as hard as Cold Heart does, but there's an option there. You could also bring in Seeker because Seeker brings increased attack. That's another option. Gorgorab -Gor -Gor increases attack and your turn meter. I'm trying not to focus too much on these guys, but obviously like Prince Kaimar will make things a lot faster. Battle Kazar has a passive that increases damage by 20%. So yeah, the challenge is being able to do it with just those champions. And I'm gonna show you guys the run real quick and then we'll dive into the specific speed tunes and everything. Now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder if there's any hard teams. It's gonna take a little bit of tweaking, but I'm just kind of postulating ideas now that I'm, now that I'm here. Let me just manual this to see if it's even viable. Could I do it with two? Let's see here, let's do that they're going pretty fast i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do it all right let's do this and then boom that's okay so killing the spiders is what's gonna do the most here we got brimstone off there we're gonna reset with kaimar cold heart is asleep there but i think for the second if i wanted to preset this second time around we could cleanse but we could also tweak Cold Heart a little bit so that she doesn't... Because she falls asleep if she receives a full depletion of turn meter, right? But we could probably tweak it. Now, what we want to do here is make sure we're placing the Hex on all the Spiderlings because that's what's going to do um, the damage for us. But we also want to make sure that Cold Heart is taking her turns. Let's, let's try this right here to see what happens. Let's see. Can we place Decrease Defense and Weaken again? And let's hit this. Okay, so 
that's actually pretty interesting. I was not expecting that. Sorry, that was a little sidebar. You guys already know how I do. Just keep getting distracted. I mean, I think this team would work on... It's 20 also, right? Just kind of entertaining these ideas here. All right, decrease defense and weaken. Lydia is in a hex set, so if you're wondering where that hex is coming from, that's where that's coming from. Yeah, I think it's going to be an easy clap. Decrease defense, weaken. Get the hex, and then... Boom. All right, so yeah, that is... um. Pretty good, but I don't think it's going to be better than this team, better than this team here. So Spider sometimes has the chance of placing Weaken right here, the small version of Weaken, but it's not 100%. His decreased defense is 100%, but the Weaken part is not. So this move right here has a 60% chance, books up to 100 to place decreased defense. Then it has a 30% books up to 70% of placing the small version of weaken. When the weaken does land, you're going to you've you've seen that you only need 3 cold hearts to pop off. But if only the decrease defense lands, then you're going to need all 4 champions to to make this work. That one kind of This fourth one does not have um it does not have blessings or not blessings but uh the what do you call it the masteries but yeah you're gonna need i don't know if the the blessings matter all that much because you can see this cold heart has, has a six star blessing a four a three and a four here but i mean this is the concept behind the team i'm just sharing this idea with you maybe you can make it a little bit better or you know tweak it a bit but you know tell me your thoughts and yeah this is the preset for the team, in case you're wondering, and you can also see the speeds here. Spider is not... Like, I put him in the lead because there's nobody else with an aura. He's going at 254. Preset, A1. Cold Heart, A1, 251. He's the first one in the turn order, and then all the Cold, cold Hearts after that can, can change. However, all of these, 250, 251, 252. Priority for the A3. And then if you wanted to see this specific team set up, uh, Mithrala, 276, Lydia, 277. Oh, sorry, preset on the A2 is priority one. A2, priority one. A3, A3 for both cold hearts is going to be priority three. And then open with the A1 so that Kaimar saves his reset for the second time around after they nuke so he can reset. Especially if your Kaimar is going pretty fast. <laughs> 